Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe, and this is actually going to be something really different to what I normally do. This is actually going to be my first episode in my new series, where uh, I'm basically just going to be telling a story of something that's, you know, happened in my life or something like that, and, uh, yeah, over some TF2 gameplay. So, actually, while I mentioned the TF2 gameplay, don't judge the gameplay too hard. I never really uh, played Soldier, and also... Uh, don't judge my rocket jumping, I know I'm extremely bad at that. I was actually going to make a series called, like, a Noob Does Rocket Jumping or something like that, because I know, I know I'm so bad at it, but, uh, yeah, I just thought it'd be pretty cool. So, this story, uh, happened to me about half a week ago. It was actually on Thursday this week, so, uh, a couple days ago now, and basically what happened is, I took a day of college because my mum actually had that week off work, and we took a trip down to the nearest city so if you don't know I live in kind of a small town in England so we got a train down to a city that's about maybe 20-30 miles away from us and uh, yeah we just thought we'd spend a day shopping there so uh, we all got in the city and we all said you know split up for an hour just go and do what we want to do then we'll go grab some lunch or something like that because it's still fairly early in the morning so I thought you know uh, I'm going to split off from my other two brothers and just go around on my own and look around. I actually went in Sports Direct, even though we had been in there previously, but that doesn't really matter. So I went in Sports Direct and I bought a pair of joggers. You know, it's fairly standard stuff, just a pair of, like, sort of skinny joggers. And I thought, oh, this is, this is cool, you know, I'll go home. Uh, nice purchase from somewhere I don't live, you know, stuff like that. And uh, I went to walk down the escalator because this Sports Direct store, for some reason, had two floors. I'll never understand that. But it had two floors. And I thought, okay, cool. I'll just go go down and uh, meet everyone again. It's been about an hour now. So I went to walk down the escalator and it was extremely busy. There was sort of people crowding around it because it was quite a busy shop at the time. It was probably maybe peak hours now. And um, yeah, so I went to walk down the escalator and I walked sort of towards the stairs and the alarm went off and there was some sort of red flashing lights on each side of me and everyone was staring at me and some people started laughing I was like, you know, what's, what's going on? I don't live here, I have no idea what that means and then um, one of the one of the kids that was crowded around the escalator said like have you got something in your bag? and obviously I said yeah and then this bald bloke, right, no idea who he is but he was wearing a Sports Direct jacket so I sh I'm assuming he works there he was like, uh, step aside a minute sir so, you know, I, I did step aside and he was like, have you got anything in your bag? and I was like, yeah, I just bought a pair of joggers and he was like, okay, no problem, um, do you have the receipt? and obviously I didn't actually get a receipt when I, uh, when I bought these so I was like, no, I don't have a receipt, I didn't get a good one and he was like, oh, of course you don't so obviously, straight from that, I could tell he was doubting that I bought these and I was probably just stealing them. But anyway, so I uh, protested my innocence and said that I bought them and he was like, uh, so of course you didn't get a receipt. Let's go to the till. Do you remember who served you? And obviously I do remember who served me. I got served like one minute before. But uh, the woman who served me wasn't actually at the till anymore. So I was like, yeah, but she's not at the till anymore. And he was like, oh, of course she's not. So again, I get, the guy was clearly doubting me and just assumed that I was stealing something. And um, I was kind of worried at this point. You know, i would just gone to this place. I don't live here. So what if I get, like, arrested for doing something? Firstly, I didn't do it. And secondly, in a place I've only been to, like, once in my life. I have no idea what's going on. How am I going to tell my mum and my brothers that I've been fucking arrested by the police for doing something I didn't do? So if you didn't guess, the upstairs part of this shop was actually pretty big, like, honestly. So, um, he walked me over to the counter, which was on the other side of the store, and, um, the woman wasn't there, but she was stood in the corner, and as soon as she made eye contact with this bold bloke, who, again, I'm just assuming he works there, she put her hands over her face, which obviously suggests that she was embarrassed, so this stupid woman that served me actually forgot to take the security tag off my joggers, and, um, set the alarm off, basically. I didn't get a receipt, so I couldn't prove that at all, so... Uh, the bold guy was like, oh, well, uh, I can see that you're innocent just from her reaction, so I, ap I apologise for that. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you should apologise, you know. I was about to get arrested for something that I didn't even do. I just, I was about to get arrested for just by innocently buying a pair of joggers. Just a young boy in a city just innocently buying a pair of joggers. Uh, so yeah, that's just about it, guys. That's all that happened. They let me walk out the store after that, after many apologies. And that's just about it. So I regrouped with my family, got some lunch. Uh, and yeah, that's just about it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this sort of story time. I know it's definitely something that I don't do on my channel a lot. But if you'd like to hear more sort of stories and embarrassing stuff from my life, then let me know. I quite enjoyed making this commentary. That's just about it. So thank you guys all for watching. If you did enjoy, then please do remember to leave a like and let, leave a comment to let me know what you thought. And yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace.